Vic Bain, I'm so delighted for you to join me on this very special occasion. There's so many things happening at the F list. And as you are the founder of the F list, I thought you were the best person to ask, how did it all start? It, it was a long time in gestation, I, th I think, but it came out of research that I published two years ago called Counting the Music Industry. And that was um, basically what I call a gender audit of the rosters of over 300 record labels and music publishing companies. And I was really interested in understanding how many women these companies um, had signed that that was that they were financially investing, investing in and supporting the careers. Um, and actually, the, you know, the, the statistics really shocked me. It was only 14 percent of music publishing rosters were, were women and 20 percent for record labels. And it was the I think it was probably the musicians side of things which really shocked me just how low that was. But in, in doing that research, I then realized that I had uh, the details of a few thousand women um, who were signed and uh, in all different genres, all of those labels and music publishing companies. So I had all of their details and I um, published that as a Google spreadsheet because I, I wanted to show fest festivals and event promoters that you know, here here was a list of a few thousand female musicians that they could use that as a resource if they wanted to book women. Because one of the one of the things that I was reading when we all when we all thought at the start of 2020 that the world was going to be normal and festivals were still going to be on, one thing I was reading a lot in in newspaper interviews with festival promoters is that they. Um, they really felt like they'd asked all of the women. You, you, you know, they were trying to explain why they didn't have many, many women, especially as headliners, booked on their on their stages. And uh, yeah, in these interviews, I was sort of reading things like, "Oh, well, we've asked all of the women. Um, uh, you, you know, it, women just need to pick up their guitars a bit more and step oh, up." Things like that. Can you believe it. With, with <laughs> 5,000 female musicians on the yeah. F list. It's ex just boggles the mind. Yes, I mean, it is It is now. So the first Google spreadsheet I, I, I published in March 2020, or the end of February 2020, just before lockdown, it was about 3,500 name, names that I had. And in the year and a half, it's been added to and added to by, by, by women themselves. So my, my sort of lockdown project really was um, transforming that group Google spreadsheet into a beautiful WordPress website, which we launched last November, that went live last November. And I also set up a not-for-profit organization supporting its work as well, because I wanted it to be more, more than just a, a, a directory, more than just a list. But now, yeah, it's, it's 5, 000, over 5,300 listings amazing. and um yeah it is amazing every single day it grows and grows i'm just i just love it <laughs> you know i it, it's so important for people to realize that it's not just a directory it really is a showcase and that you can use it for all sorts of things uh that i you know it needn't be for full-fledged festivals and enormous concerts it needn't be intimidating it's possible to hire some of these musicians for private events as well. Mm -hmm. And the musicians I know would be very grateful for the work. Exactly. You know, I really, I really want um, more labels to sign women, the music industry to invest in female talent a lot more. And um, yeah, or, you know, and, and, and make this directory about female musicians being able to access all sorts of opportunities because there they are, they can be found. So I know it's being it's being used by other musicians who want to find female female musicians. Uh, you know, I know it's being used by talent spotters and yeah. um, and, and managers and record labels as well as uh, festivals and and event promoters. And journalists who want to find female musicians to, to talk to as well. Exactly. You can do searches by, by region, for example, the West Midlands. 
That's mm -hmm. how I tracked down Alice Bloor of the 505s because <sighs> her name wasn't credited. And it's, it's just one of those accidents. I think sometimes people in haste forget to credit everyone. And I was so struck by her, her voice. So it was just a wonderful way to find out more about her and then track her down to Indie Midlands and so on. Um, but there's so many others too, like Nuala Honan, who's extraordinary too, these very young female singers. I mean, you were the one who introduced me to Wolf Alice's music and I, mm -hmm. I just drink it up whenever I can. I adore their music. Yeah. They are they are fantastic and uh, and I think you know one of the one of the many um, brilliant things it, 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 you know that's come come out of out of this is the music playlists that we're now publishing weekly and on you know on Spotify and Deezer Absolutely. and YouTube and Bandcamp and I you know I love listening every week to the new tracks that are going up and the incredible talent that you know is. It, 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 is contained in in both the in both the directory and and on the playlists. I've just it's, discovered so much great music. Me too. It's the sense of discovery. Is it just such a treat? It's so exciting. And you know, I I forget that they're all female in the sense that it's just mm. great music, mm. and it's just a coincidence sometimes. And I think that really the it just shows just how arbitrary the discrimination is because it you know. If I mean, it's like if the bus gets you to, from A to B, who cares if it's a female bus driver or a male bus driver? And yet it wasn't so long ago that people would walk off a bus if they saw that there was a woman driving. And I know mm. because one of my best friends in the world, Jill Waterhouse, was the first female bus driver in London. And <gasps> people would walk off her bus when they saw her at the wheel. Gosh, uh, he, and, he, you know, that's just I astonishing, mean, isn't it? <laughs> it's unbelievable. And this was a woman who could do a UE as a policewoman, before, you know. Uh, so it, it was just bonkers. And yeah. I think if we can sort of battle that kind of madness, I mean, you and I witnessed something not long ago with a festival organizer. To his credit, at least the absence of women occurred to him and he was going to do something about it. But I'm sure you remember too when he tweeted, asking about does anyone know any girl bands yes exactly some of i think some of the language used um it, it, you know which is what i would sort of consider um it's called ambivalent sexism you know it just sort of seeps out you you know they think they're being really <laughs> really positive and support and supportive but actually that did that did betray some um some deep-seated feelings I think and, and I noticed you handled it very diplomatically and we got there in the end but it was it was interesting to see that there was that kind of naked unselfconscious sexism mm. Mm. and that it was possible to nip it in the bud because it was public but mm. it's so often a private decision and that's that's the battle isn't it can you help us um, help you? In other words, is there something we can all do to help in terms of raising the profile of female musicians to redress that 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 gulf? Well, if if any if anyone knows of a female musician, you know, get them to make sure that they've got a listing on the on the on the directory. Um, if their name is is there already they can claim that listing or they can create a new one it's absolutely free for them to do to do so follow us on social media as well both both musicians and and non-musicians if they can um yes follow us on twitter and Inst instagram facebook and linkedin listen to listen to the playlists sign up and fl follow the f list for music weekly playlist and it, you know, so it's all about getting um, getting getting support for the for the for the women on there. And if if you are in the industry and you work for a record label, sign more women. And if you're an event or a festival promoter, book more women. And if you want to know where to find them, look at the F list. That's so great. And what I've done is I need to add a little bit of a little bit of blue but I know the big draw will support me in this. So a live sketch of Vic Bain while, while listening to you. 
<laughs> looking very glam. And all I need to do is add a little bit of blue pencil to capture that very glam dash of blue in your platinum blonde <laughs> today. So this is just to say thank you. And we love you, Vic. And you. we can't wait to see what you do next. And we're going to support you. And I'm going to share this, providing you're happy. And we'll get, you know, get it out there together. Fantastic. Well, I really, really appreciate your, your support. It's, um, it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. And bye-bye, Vic. Thank bye. you, Vic Bain, for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>